guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with Cardi B. Um, because a lot of fans are calling Cardi B out. They want to know why she's not reacting to the news that Saucy Santana has been talking about her child. And those tweets are from 2018. Now, not everything has to be done publicly. They could have had a conversation, you know, behind the scenes. But this basically proves that Cardi B always wanted to beef with Nicki Minaj. Because how can you run up on somebody over a fake tweet that your fans made up? And then here are proof and Saucy Santana admitting that he has talked about your child and also said that he still to this day will talk about somebody like a dog, okay? And he did not apologize publicly, even though he made the statements publicly. And you're quiet, you're mute, okay? But a few weeks ago, you were cursing out your fans for bringing up your son, okay? So it's just funny how silent... Um, Cardi B is in regards to the situation. And that's why I believe that Cardi B always wanted to have issues with Nicki Minaj and that she used that fake tweet as a way to run up on her. But she wanted to do that from the very beginning. Okay. Because there makes no sense how there is evidence in somebody admitting to talking about your child and you are quiet. And even though Saucy Santana is a guy, um, you know, she can always have offset approach him. Okay. Off the cheat ain't doing nothing. I mean, he's not selling records. He's not performing at concerts. His career is on Flopiana. So he has nothing to do. Okay. He's just prancing around town, you know, with Cardi B. So with that being said, she can have offset, you know, run up. Okay. Since he ain't got nothing else to do, but instead you know, she's being cute. She's being quiet about the situation. And like I said before, they could have talked behind the scenes. But it's so funny. If anybody else says something about her child, she's running to Twitter. Okay? She's Twitter fingers. She said on Centerfold a few weeks ago that she was a gangsta. So it's so funny how she picks and chooses who to go after, okay? So she basically always wanted a problem with Nicki Minaj, and that just kind of proves it because Saucy Santana literally disrespected you publicly and then showed no remorse, and you're not doing anything. But you went after Nicki Minaj. Interesting. Moving on to Lizzo. Um, she's facing some backlash because she dropped a new song called Girls. And she uses a slur in the song that offends the disabled, you know, community, okay? And fans are basically calling her out. Now, I didn't even know Lizzo released a new song. I don't know what's going on with Atlantic, but they don't really give her a lot of promotion. But magically, a few weeks later, after nobody's talking about the record, you know, it goes viral on TikTok, okay? Which is kind of sketchy to me because... Nobody is talking about this record, but then in a few weeks, people are going to say, oh, this song went viral. It's a hit. But anyway, so in the lyrics of this song, Girls, she says, do you see this shit? I'm a spaz, okay, in the first verse. And a lot of fans are saying that it's a slur in the disabled community and they want her to remove it. Let me know how you guys feel about that. I didn't even know that spaz was a disabled, um, offensive slur. Okay. I just learned that today. So, um, I think that, you know, she should remove it. If her fans are asking her to, it might already be too late. You know, the lyrics are already out. Um, they would have to really remaster the whole song. She might have to rewrite a few verses. But I think it might be already too late considering that the song is already out. Moving on to Megan Thee Stallion. Fans are calling Megan Thee Stallion a global superstar because she performed at Barcelona, I believe a few days ago or yesterday. And, you know, she rocked the house. People were, you know, saying her lyrics. She was out in Barcelona, double cheeked up um, in a thong, taking pictures. 
in a yacht a few days ago. So with that being said, it looks like she's having a good time. Let me know in the comments, is Megan Thee Stallion a global superstar or can she be a global superstar in the future? You know, because she is performing in Barcelona, um, you know, and I believe she also performed at the UK a few months back. So it could happen for her. You know, she had the co-sign from Dua Lipa, um, so that helped her with the UK audience. So maybe in the future, Megan Thee Stallion could be a global superstar. But one thing I will say, um, I hear people singing, you know, in other places outside of the U.S., um, WAP a lot, okay? That's the song that a lot of people outside of the U.S. know Megan from her collaboration with Cardi B. So I think that Cardi B um, co-sign and her doing the record with Cardi B kind of helped her with, you know, the Latina community a little bit. But I don't know if it's going to be long lasting for Megan Thee Stallion. Moving on to Drake and Doja Cat. So it looks like Doja Cat has surpassed Drake in monthly listeners on Spotify. Um, but that's not really shocking considering the fact that Drake hasn't really released anything since Certified Lover Boy. Okay. Um, Certified Lover Boy came out in 2021 in September. Of course, nobody's really talking about it because it was kind of mid. But with that being said, he hasn't really released anything. Now he's released features and stuff like that, but they've been flopping. But I'm not really shocked that, you know, Doja Cat is surpassing Taylor Swift and Drake in monthly listeners because she's been releasing music. Um, Taylor Swift also hasn't really released any new music. She's been releasing re-releases and it's, you know, 10 to 13 year old songs that she's remaking so she can own her masters. Okay. Now they did say allegedly Drake is planning on dropping a mixtape. Okay. Allegedly, according to academics, Drake will be dropping a mixtape this summer. Okay. Would you guys be here for a Drake mixtape? I want Drake to go back to take care Drake. Okay. This new Drake, I don't really get into, but if Drake goes back to nothing was the same, take care Drake, I'm with it. I think Drake, he needs to get back in his one dance era. I think he needs to go back to God's plan. I think we need a song like that. Um, even his Scorpion era was nice. I like that Drake. I feel like this current Drake is not really hungry enough. And because Drake, no matter what he puts out when it comes to his solo music, he's still able to go number one. That's why he puts out lackluster music. See, if Drake was putting out solo music and it was flopping or if it was just doing top 40, top 30, he will be going harder in his raps or putting out better music. But because you guys allow him to go top 10 or number one every time he drops solo music, not features, his features been flopping. But when he drops solo music, it usually does well. That's why his solo music is declining and is very evident that, you know, he's not even trying anymore. Okay. He just signed a 500, 600 million dollar contract with Universal. Even though it's a 360 deal, he still got that money in his pocket. He may have to pay it back though. Um, but the fact that they're giving him that much money just shows that they think that he's going to sell. They are making billions and billions of dollars off of him. So anyway, let me know how you guys feel about it. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day.